Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome to a special preview of Alder's Blood for the Nintendo Switch. This is a early access game that's coming out on March 13th, and I've been told it's like Victorian uh, meets XCOM meets Bloodborne, Darkest Days, all kinds of stuff. So this will be a hour preview. Probably not going to get very far in the game because I'm not awesome at Bloodborne, um, but the XCOM stuff is always kind of fun, so. Yeah, and I love XCOM, so I'm just sitting in for a few minutes, but... Oh, okay, so my phone was going off. <laughs> and I'm just uh, doing my best to get... Uh... Yeah, I hope everyone's having an awesome night, and... Uh... Yeah. Start campaign. I'm excited. Fine. So, Alder's Blood. Yeah, Alder's Blood. I almost wanted to say Adlers, but it's Adlers. Is there a crime I more reviled than the slaughter of No, Kiev? you said that right. What about the oh, slaughter oh. of a god? The rotting corpse of our father curses these lands. It must be Where done. I will reckon with the consequences in time. Okay, there we go. Finally, like, the world's going my on? search leads me to a hilltop riddled with shrines. The crown. This is where it all ends. Okay, so there was some type of preview that I just heard just now. Massive loading times. No. Oh. And uh, there'll be more indie showcases uh, this month, guys, because there's a lot of stuff to go over from uh, February and uh, late January and stuff like that. Alright, so this is me. My name is Duke. Just a stretch more road to take, along with the lives of the last few creatures she hides. Then we shall rest, Father. Then we shall have peace. At last, the crown is in no. sight. Oh. Voice acted. Oh. Let me see. I didn't hear it. All right. To move Duke, select any space with uh, his standard movement range represented by the white outline. As long as you move within the standard movement range, Duke will not tire himself. Duke can move freely, making as many adjustments as desired, so as long as he does not exceed the white border of his movement range, however, every mode he travels decreases the remaining number of modes in his no. range. Nodes? Nodes. Okay. The movement are states governs movement in the hunters. Okay. Node is like a, it's like a dot. Right, so he can, he can go to this little yellow thing. And this game is rated T for teen, just so you guys know. It's not an M-rated game. Stealth mode! Moving through tall grass or bushes hides hunters from enemy sight. This special type of terrain is highlighted purple on hover and grants concealment. But beware, only silent actions will keep hunters hidden, even in concealment. Clever hunters surmount overwhelming odds on the battlefield by the virtue of tactical concealment. Moving into bushes will require Duke to move further than his movement would allow. This is an extra movement range. Moving outside the highlighted white outline will start to remove stamina tabs. The further you move, the more stamina tabs it will cost. Hunters with a larger stamina stat will naturally be better at traversing in the extra movement range. This has a diminishing return. Okay. I think it means if you move past the yellow square, then basically you're gonna it's gonna be harder for you to attack the enemy. Like you won't have as many points to attack the enemy. One clean shot should put the creature down, albeit loudly. I pray none of its allies lurk nearby. Okay. To initiate ranged combat, select the corresponding ability on the ability bar. This opens a targeting menu highlighting available targets within range and line of sight. The burning blood of the hunters grants them uncanny focus and reflexes, and a shot that a hunter makes in battle will never miss its mark. 
Press A to confirm target and open fire. Most ranged weapons are loud and will alert enemies. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, they want me to shoot this thing, but... So, then Y button? I, I guess, I mean... It's I gonna be loud no matter what I do. Yeah, I mean... Then everyone else will be alerted. Okay, here we go. I can't help that. Nope. There was nobody else on the screen, so it didn't matter. Nobody heard it. Oh, never mind. They're alerted. Curses. The wind wills against me. Any closer and this brute will catch my scent. Perhaps if I'm swift, I can make enough ground to shake the trail uh -huh. before he finds it. This is all tutorial, so it's gonna... Wind and smell. When moving through the battlefield, always mind the wind direction. The hunter's scents are carried on the wind, so it's best to keep downwind of your prey. An idle monster who discovers a hunter's scent will immediately become altered and investigate the source of the smell on its next turn. A word of the wise, beastly noses are keen and cruel. If a monster thinks to sniff you out, You'd best be on your way swiftly. Okay. Okay, so your smell is going that way. I mean, personally, I would take that guy out on the left first because the smell is going to hit him first. Because if you go right and you try to take the guy on the right out, then he's going to... I mean, for me, I would just shoot that guy on the left from here. Yeah, but they want me to go in the bushes first. Why? I don't, I'm standing right out in the open. I mean, okay. Right. No. You should do what the tutorial says. Well, then I would still take the guy on the left out after you after you go there. That's the plan. See, he's alerted anyway, so you might as well take him out. Uh, another one. Could it be they're drawn to your corpse? No matter. These beasts are simple. A thrown pebble would distract them enough to sneak past. Okay. Throwing a pebble can change the direction of idle enemies. Monsters caught in the area of effect will hear its impact. Turn in that direction and investigate to for their next turn. There's no limit to the number of pebbles you can use. A hunter can grab them from the ground. Altered, alerted enemies will ignore the pebbles. Oh. But if they're not alerted... So then how do I throw said puzzle? Well, that guy was alerted for a second, but it looks like you're in your bushes, so it's fine. Okay. Where am I throwing the puzzle? I don't know. Somewhere to distract oh. him, not towards you. Oh. Why would you throw it right at him? That doesn't seem like it's a very smart I idea. I would have thrown it back there behind you, so they would have left and gone behind you, and then you could have gone forward. Apparently that's what they want you to do. Instead of throw throw a pebble to try to alert them, what you're doing is just hitting them with a rock. Yeah. Okay. Alright, now they're not telling me anything else to do. I mean, I guess I have to kill this fool, so... Yeah, great to see everybody in the chat. Um, Cytrix, Mr. Flipside, John Doe... Smitty, um, Kenshi, Malachi, Wallaby, and, uh, a bunch of people here in the chat. Great to see you guys. Daisuke Draws, Jen, and... A bunch of people hanging out. Z Gundam. Almost to the Great top. to see you guys. This clearing swarms with fiends. Perhaps a quiet approach is ideal. I should ready my blade before moving in. Okay, he's got a sword now. Changing weapons. Monsters, hunters can carry two weapons on any mission. One large weapon and a sidearm. They can switch between these freely at any time. Employing a variety of combat options allows hunters to solve problems more creatively. Keep multiple damage types in rotation to navigate monster resistance and weaknesses. Okay. So, how do I change weapons? Whoa. Ah, a fine opening for my rapier. I should press the advantage.
vintage while its back is exposed. Okay. To initiate melee combat, select the corresponding ability on the utility bar. Use the A button to move into striking proximity of an enemy. Choose a direction to target and press A again to launch your attack. Attacks drain stamina, so be sure to have enough before you commit to one. Oh wow. Uh, attacks... Attack unaware enemies from behind with a small weapon to perform a backstab. Backstabbing an enemy immediately downs them, draining all their stamina and rendering them vulnerable to banishment. Banishment? Maybe you're in some kind of weird other realm or something to banish them. Right, I don't know. Um, yeah, and we've got a lot of nice comments and questions in the chat, but uh, I don't know if I... Maybe I'll ask some of them, like, when Lucas... Um, they want me to go backward? Why wouldn't I go not forward? Doing the tutorial, I guess. All right. But uh, they want me to go yeah, backward. Thanks, thanks for the nice comment, uh, Bobcat. Uh, uh, wanted to know how we met and said we were an uh, inspiration and God bless. It's very sweet. Thank you so much. Maybe Luke will say how we met at some point during the stream. I'm probably gonna end up. I have to do a very early morning thing. Um, where I'm going to be playing my violin with some little youngins at church where we're going to play Amazing Grace and um, I have to make sure I don't accidentally sleep in and miss that. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I selected melee and the game wants me to go here. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's not dead. Which has brought the beast to its knees. It is vulnerable to banishing. Not the most elegant solution, but I have little choice. Okay. Banishing right. The downed enemy can be banished from the physical plane by invocation of the old hunter's right. To do this, first move the node adjacent to the downed enemy, then select banish from the ability bar. But wait, I already moved. Don't I have to wait for my next turn? Be careful as this action drains three tabs of stamina. A rush of power to be sure, but the power corrupts. And wise hunters know that such victories always come with a cost. What the? Maybe oh. it's if you're too weak, you'll turn evil. I don't know. Let's try a... I don't know. I, I know some people have been saying certain things that this game reminds me. Oh, Jack Reacher, people are saying. Oh, no. Is that not... Oh no, never mind. That's a person's name in the chat. I'm sorry. People were saying that this game reminds them. Hello, Jack Reacher. How's it going? Ugh, <laughs> People were saying this game reminds them of some character, but I don't know who that is. The okay. they're, it like, they're giving me more instructions, the honey. They, whenever that pops up, they give you dialogue. Close at hand. Okay. Uh, thank you, Duke. I kind of heard it. So I think he wants them to move forward again. This feels like Van Helsing to me because we're Finally, fighting we're here. The summit. I'm here at long last, Father. Now where are Creepy. Well, that can't be good. Yeah, we have some questions about giveaways. Actually, I believe we had some codes from a developer we were going to give away for some game. That'll be for a different game, people. Not for this game, but no. for another one no. coming up. And actually, that game has to be put on the O1 channel, um, which I believe I'll be streaming tomorrow. Uh, there will be probably two streams on the O1 channel tomorrow and two streams on this channel. I don't know. But um, it's, it's oh. for another game. We got a couple questions in the chat. Um, wondering if you got your Nightwing Zero One channel back. Yes. And number two, what kind of, what do you think about, from Cytrix, what do you think about Nintendo's game releases this year lineup? Because they've been very quiet. They're kind of lacking on a lineup. There's really not a lot of games coming out anyway. Um, My Heroes One Justice comes out next week. So we're almost done with Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, and then it's My Hero. 
Uh, One Punch Man is almost over, so we'll be doing My Hero, and then the week after that we'll be doing Animal Crossing. Um, April is just mostly going to be Final Fantasy VII Remake, some indie games. There's really... I haven't seen a dry spell of gaming like this in probably seven, eight years. Like, it's it's very bare bones this year, which is not good because this is the year of COPPA, and there's really nothing to bring in new viewers. Like, um, and YouTube changed the algorithm and everything, too, so it's hard to get these new games seen. Greetings, Hunter. Welcome to the Cradle, and welcome to Adler's Blood. From here on out, you will play as a chief, the leader of a small hunting company. Your party is loyal to you, and they will trust their lives in your hands. It will be their virtue of your orders, whether they find valor or death on the battlefield. Wow. I feel terrible now. Yeah, I can't read that. That's too small. It was three months ago. Duke left suddenly without a word, note, or yeah, warning. I... We don't know why, but we know this land is cruel. He won't make it far on his own, and I won't lose him now. For weeks, we're stalked. Nah, Duke is dead. We stalked his tracks, and they led us to a Chief. desolate place. Okay. Um, Should you camp here, Chief? <laughs> yes. They don't really... Yeah. D- Daisuke says he's making more fan art. Want, want Chibi Normal Gal? Actually, we... We we're, were wondering if people can do fan art of me as that one Charlotte Charlotta, but of course that episode hasn't gone up yet. Oh yeah, little, yeah, little that little Charlotta, yeah. Okay. That's cute. Keep an eye on. I don't know. Aye, aye. We'll do, Chief. These guys are all gonna die. So. Your caravans of hunters will travel the land through various regions, towns, and wilds. Right now. Your party wanders the exile wastes as long day journey lies behind you uh, and, un- and the unknown ahead. It would be wise to set up camp before making any more ground. Use the camp button in the button left corner of your screen. May I ask a question? Did you want to? Well, maybe. Um, if you want, you can tell people how we met if you want. I, the I will, but like, probably after the tutorial, because there's a maybe lot to later. do. A hunter's work is never done. Even while camping, your party will stay vigilant, and you can manage them to complete camp tasks. No. There are many critical and beneficial duties that hunters may perform during this time, including guarding, resource scavenging, crafting, and mending their wounds. To view and adjust work assignments, visit the job board. Wow, there's so much stuff involved with this. Yeah. Okay, so this is all tutorial still because this all highlights um, things you need to do. Okay, job board. A list of hunters currently in your caravan and what camping tasks they are assigned to. Modify or swap these out by selecting the icon with A. Each tack has, task has a unique effect on the campsite. These details are given on the right. For now, go ahead and set uh, R's job to guarding. This will safeguard the camp against enemy ambushes. Let the others rest. The pursuit of Duke has been taxing, and the road stretches long ahead in tomorrow's moonlight. Uh, Please finalize your choices and progress to the next day by selecting campfire in the middle of camp. Okay, so the R guy needs to be set to guarding. Which one are you? This is Maxwell, Hugo, Ethan, this dude. Yeah, we've got a couple more questions in the chat, but I guess I'll wait for a little bit until we're kind of through the tutorial. Now what do they want me to do? I don't know if Luke is going to do the fairy tale game or not. Um, I didn't know there was a fairy tale game. Fairy tale game. game's not coming out until April or May. So it's it's quite a ways away still. But I'd love to do fairy tale. Okay, now what? Oh wow! Oh, I'm I guess that's all we do. Crafting wagon, maybe? There's nothing else. Tutorial was. Wait a day. Oh. 
maybe close. We did have a really interesting day today, though. Our little cat, um, little Ready. Zelda, had a fever, so we had to take her to the emergency vet clinic this morning. So that was exciting. Okay, so we're gonna get them oh, yeah. moving around. I'm pretty sure Duke is gonna be the bad guy in this game. Alright, so they want us to move forward. Embark. Okay, this is a full map of the continent. From this menu, you can select a destination for the caravan by pressing A on a region. Um, tracking the effort suggests that Duke has made his way to the crown. Um, what is your next objective? Set a course to begin the journey. Keep in mind, traveling such distances is always a commitment. It will take one day to arrive in a region. Well, yeah, because we're traveling by horses and stuff like that. So, uh, this is us. We need to go here to the crown. Okay. Travel. Are you sure you want to travel to the crown? Yes. Man, everybody looks freaky. Uh oh. No, um, Zelda is doing a lot better, so thank you guys for asking. And yeah, she's doing okay. She just has to she take just, her medicine. She has to take her medicine, and it's very hard for her to take. They gave us like a liquid medicine, and she's not taking it, so we're gonna have to wrap her up in a towel and try to get her to take it because she's just so feisty. Yeah. No, we found Duke. He's still alive. Chief. It's me, Chief. Uh, by the father, what happened to you? Ethan Maxwell, get under his arm. We've got to get him out of here. H horror is unceasing. Okay, so we found Duke. Duke is going to be a bad guy, probably. Five. A few hours later. He's evil. He's going to be evil. He's the dude on the cover. Chief. Why did you leave, Duke? Yes. Hasn't anyone ever told you it's unkind to answer a question with a question? Yes, you did. No. No. He's a demon now. No, Chief. You couldn't have helped me. You're not ready. What do you mean? I don't think so. You are bound by your loyalties, your responsibilities, duties to protect the humans who despise us and defend a world that plots against us. Yeah, he's evil. Master Hunters. Bless you. Oi, David. David says you traveled to the crown and got dysentery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that it's kind of like, um... Don't do anything. I know, I'm just... I'm probably just gonna... Um, I've got a... I've got an early morning thingy, but... Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, Luke will be able to... Luke will be able to get some of your questions, um, but he's mainly going to be showing off the game, so once in a while he'll be able to answer questions, but, um. Okay, you are part of this family whether you like it or not. Dear sirs. We need to hurry, monsters are coming. Okay, they're just going to keep reusing the same thing. Alright, they want me to go here self-explanatory mission briefing welcome to the mission briefing within this screen you will find the details of your next mission its objectives and potential rewards on the right you can select which hunters to include in this mission you can also quickly access hunters equipment and change their gear when you're ready to initiate press the Y button uh, okay I guess these are the characters that I'll be starting the mission with okie doke yeah, um, we've played a lot of Spider-Man games on our channel. I don't really know which ones we have. <laughs> Spider-Man. Everyone but, um... What's... Ultimate. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the one that this person was wondering. Sid I've never... I've Sidu never beat Ultimate Spider-Man. I guess that's the one that we haven't played, um, Sidu. Yep. That's the one. Welcome, guests. Um, yeah... 
Uh, uh. Oh my gosh. Poor little Lukey's nose. Yep. Oh, the beasts are attacking! We're all doomed! Probably. And this is where we will all die, people. Just so you know. Probably. Boy, you'll not throw your lives away with a frontal assault. Oh, no. That's a big one. Uh, these are ones you need to take care of. If their back's exposed, you won't see... Okay, so we're going to have to stab it from behind. Monsters reactions. Getting spotted by a monster triggers a reaction. Well, of course. Exposed hunters will immediately stop and will have to take the consequence of the reaction. This could be a free attack from the monster in case of a shrieker. An alarming scream that can trigger other monsters. Oh, no. Use pebbles to change the monster's direction and approach the targets from behind. Indicators under the monster's feet show their status. Gray for idling, unaware enemies. Yellow for alarmed, meaning searching enemies. Red for enemies ready to attack. Little arrows show the way the monster is looking. Remember, a backstab with a small weapon will knock the monster down, and then you can banish it. Oh, boy. Yeah, great to see everybody coming into the chat. Um, Sidhu, the buffoon gamer, um, Malachi, and um, Adam, and everybody, and David, and everybody who's just come in. Um, we are playing a new showcase of a game, Alder's Blood, and uh, I guess it's kind of like, I guess it's XCOM plus, yeah, monsters. <laughs> Right. It looks pretty cool so far. I'm guessing that when you actually dis like when you remove them from the plane, what they're saying is like this or this is the earth plane. Like this is real like this is earth realm and like they are evil creatures, so they belong in like the evil realm because they're were werewolves. So they they're banished from here because they don't belong. Oh, here. can I start over? Uh, maybe you can restart. Me yeah, soon. I was supposed to throw a pebble at him. Or stab him in the back. I'm, I kind of messed that up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I need to... You can't use this character because this character only has a gun. Oops. I would just go to the bushes and then shoot the guy. No, I shot him and then he became alert. Okay, oh. every hunter has a special power that humans do not possess. The hunter sense. It allows the hunters to feel the presence of monsters around him, even when he doesn't see them. Great. Monsters located inside hunter sense, uh, outside of the vision range, will be identified as shadowy shapes. Knowing the position of the monsters, but not its type. Oh, that's just fantastic. Clicking on the monster will reveal information about its status, resistance, and weaknesses. Finally, within Hunter Sense, a monster's cone of vision and the distance they can see is made visible. With this knowledge, a hunter should have no problems remaining out of sight. Ha! Right. Okay. No, I don't want Hunter... Yeah, I need a knife now. Okay, so we're going to go hit this guy with a knife. There's no way to zoom in, is there? Oh, there we go. Okay, see, that's a lot easier. I'm zoomed oh, in. Oh, you can zoom in. Well, that's yeah, way cooler. Well, I like that. It's XCOM, so. I feel like they made this map look like an old Western map, kind of like. They just said it's supposed to take place in, like, the 1800s oh, or something. Oh, sorry. They're riding on horseback. They got caravans. They're cowboys, right, essentially. So we're, yeah. We're on the Oregon Trail, then. Kind of. Are we gonna Why spear? did you do that? Can I said spear? stab him in the back. Moron. Restart mission. Yes. Oh my gosh, Luke. You're like me playing XCOM where like after I get like all the way. Like after like 40 episodes in, I'm like, no, I'm going to start over because I'm running low on funds. They didn't stab him, though. If this was truly like XCOM, though, then you'd have to have a certain amount of funds. And if you ran out of funds, then you would die. But. Okay, does he have... Yeah, okay. These are werewolves, I'm guessing. 
or I don't know similar. Okay, so we're gonna zoom in again. I'm supposed to stab him in the back. Stab him. Power Ranger stab. Yeah, Power Ranger stab. Let's go. What the? Just stab him. Why? Uh, just stab him. I don't know if he has a. I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess if you go behind him, you are. He hit him with a stick? I don't know if that guy has a, a stab weapon. What? Why would you hit him with a stick? I feel like they gave us a lot more to work with on the tutorial, and then when we actually got thrown into the game, we have less weapons. I think you're just gonna have to have another guy come near him. Wait! He didn't do any damage at all. What?! That, that brawler thing doesn't have any damage. You didn't hit him at all. That was supposed to- oh my the gosh. The stick did nothing to him. Yeah, I'm aware of this now. Alright, try it again. Start. I'm supposed to stab him. I'm gonna use a different character, because this guy's terrible at his job. Um, I guess I could just say really quick, we met... Uh, I was playing piano, and Luke had to take a little kid to the bathroom. When he was working with his mom at a... At I was working as a, a teacher's assistant. Teacher's assistant with his mom, and I was... I, my dad worked at the same school slash church that my, uh, they had a school in that church and, um, my dad worked there. He did like maintenance stuff and his mom worked there as a teacher. So I was practicing my piano for my, uh, um, like for my music stuff I was doing in college and then Luke heard the, me playing the piano and he came in to see who it was or something like that but Luke tells the story much more romantically I guess but yeah that's how we met he like invited me to church and then after that we he asked me out for coffee um and I said yes even though I didn't really like coffee at all so but it, yeah it was very sweet we had a we we went out on one date and um, we talked for a long time. Strong knife. And, yeah, we, we just were like, we went out on a date in the afternoon and we were talking like all evening. And then, yeah. The rest is history. Why is this not... Mm, this... Why is it not stabbing them in the back? This is getting annoying. <laughs> I'm doing it exactly the way the game said. I'm doing um, it exactly the game said. I'm trying to I, using a stabbing weapon. I think Luke would recommend the Kakarot game. I mean, I would I recommend like, the Dragon Ball Z game. Yes. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Yeah. I, mean, I really like the game. Supposed to do like a backstabbing thing. You want me to try it? Ooh, there you go. Now you're doing it. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Finally! That's what you were supposed to be doing the whole time. Okay, now he's stabbed. Now what? I think that guy already moved. Okay, so, who, so you, how you do wanna, you. You want to bring in the second guy to also stab him. I don't think you also want to stab him. You're supposed to do some type of banishment move. Oh. Yeah, I... Well, maybe you can bring in another person to do the banishment move. Uh, I don't think he's ready for banishment yet. He's just on his knees. Then just... I would stab him again. Yeah, I guess stab him again, too. So, no, no, put your cursor all the way to the monster. Oh, never mind. How did you do it last time? Uh, I had a character that could stab him, obviously. Well, what did your other... What about the character that's down, down there? Further down on the map. Can he st Try this guy again. I like these guys' names. Hugo. Renoir. Oh, 
Oh, there you go. Oh, he only has one notch left. Monster is bleeding. Characters inflicted with bleed. Wait, my character's infected with bleed? How did that happen? That doesn't. I guess I have no idea. Maybe by you. Maybe the guy has spiky fur. So I have no idea. I, I guess just. Looks like you have all kinds of throwing weapons there or something. Let's see what Renoir can do. Renoir can't do anything. He's hanging out down there. Okay, I'm just. I don't care. My. Stabity stab. Let's we'll stab this guy too. Um and yes, we really did like the Pink Ranger um shield. Uh in Legacy Wars, pretty it was pretty awesome to see that. It doesn't. It doesn't have the option to do it yet. I guess hit him again. Hit him again! Alright, now we have to look for another one. So it didn't give the option. It didn't give the option to do it, and now my guy's tired. It's just awesome. Uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know. Looks like... Is that your smell going up that way? Yes, that's my smell. Oh, you guys are really smelly. Well, they're humans, so... Now my smell's going that way. Mm. That guy can't move anymore. Mm, great to see you guys coming into the chat. Um, hey Simon, how's it going? And we've still got John Doe here. Anna is in the chat, and um, Cassie is here. Justin and um, uh, Garrett and a bunch of people coming in. So great to see you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much to our members in the chat and everybody hanging out. We're checking out this um, new game called Alder's Blood. It's a preview, so this game has not come out yet. Awesome. Um, we're doing okay, Simon's. Um, thanks for asking. Uh, I'm just a Focus very chill on brawlers. Just a chill stream. We've had a interesting day. We had to take little Zelda to the vet, but she's doing better. But we've got to figure out how to get her a medicine, so that's gonna be interesting. I don't want to deal with that monster. Go away. Oh, were we talking about Zelda still? Oh, wait, you're talking about the monster at the game. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I want to switch to another character. This guy's turn is over. They just said, don't attack that- Whoa! There's a creepy monster. See, I wish there was a way to- I don't want to play as this character anymore. He's already moved. Isn't there a way to switch characters in, in I know in XCOM, you can, there's like a, a button like on the top or something, you can switch between characters. It's not letting me. What about triangle? Does that switch between characters? Why would triangle be on a switch game, Amber? Oh. What about X? X ends my turn completely. Okay, what about the command cross? Is there a list of controls somewhere? Nope. There has to be a way you can switch between characters. It only lets me move one character at a time. Alright, get this guy out of... See, you just switched between characters right there! No, they only let you move one character at a time. But I just saw you switch. You can't... Okay, now... Can... See, you just switched. Alright, well, I'm probably gonna... That's fine, but don't even think about it. Alright. I'm serious. I haven't done anything. Yet. Okay, so... Alright, well, I hope you guys have a good night. I'm gonna uh, head in because I have an early morning thing. Um, so, uh, Luke will be able to, he see, uh, he can answer your questions once in a while, but, uh, I think we're mainly gonna be showing off the game, but. 
I'm mostly playing the game tonight. Yeah. Or, I'm not playing the entire game. I'm only showing you guys like an hour preview of it. I feel like I'm just wasting stamina. They said I don't have to kill the monster, yet the monster is facing right at me. Pebble. Pebble's not even going to reach the monster. I'll look into it, Amber. Oh gosh, where did he come from? They said don't kill the Shriekers, and yet the Shriekers are... a bad idea. Oh, great! <laughs> so my dude is almost dead. I am very bad at this. Next time I'm going to kill the Shrieker. Throw a pebble at him. He didn't move. Why? Yeah, he's dead. Hunters will lose all their hit points. Yeah, he's dead. Obviously, that's what happens. Should have just killed that thing when I had the chance. Um, just go away. He's just dead. We're moving on. Oh, my gosh. What's that? He's dead. Oh yeah, he died. He's, he's gone. I can't revive him. You know, we're going to start this over again. Because this is, again, this is just a preview. If you guys want to check out the full game, it comes out um, on March 13th. Even right after the tutorial, the game will start to kick your butt. I'm not listening to the game next time. We're going to kill the Shrieker. So we have to start over. I don't agree with it. So we're going to use a knife to kill this fool. Can use anybody to do it. So you want to select this person has a stabby stab. Stab him from behind. Oop. 
bleeding. Can stab him again. Okay, now my guy's tired. So we're gonna move this person up. Stab from behind. I guess slash him again. Okay, so we know there's a monster over there. There's no monsters this way. Oh, wait. No. Okay. I think you guys are just randomly in the open like that. Okay, so there's no monster over here. There's a monster there. There will be a monster there. I'm gonna have to kill the shrieker. I don't I don't trust the game. Small monsters or shrieker. When it sees us, it'll alarm other monsters. We don't have to kill it. Distract and focus on. No, we're gonna have to kill it. I don't. I don't believe you. Can't even see where he's facing. I'm pretty sure he's facing this direction. All right, he ran away. You guys get out of the open though, please. What? Uh, whatever. And one idiot is just gonna be standing out in the middle of the open. There we go. Where'd it go? Hmm. How much health does that thing have, actually? I only have... Who's that? Hugo? Hugo only has a knife. Oh, great! There's a monster right there! Hugo's dead. I didn't tell him to go that far! You moron! You moron! I never said go that quick! Hugo's an idiot! I just want to say this. XCOM is a lot easier to control than this game. Like... 
this game does not control very well. Okay, you. Gonna bring. See, I didn't tell him to do that. Ugh. It's like overly sensitive. How did he not die from that? That was three hi hits last time. Oh my gosh. How is he not dead? Wow, okay. Yep, you too, Amber. Yeah, he dead again. What time did you take it? Too early. You can't take your pill until like 3 or 2 in the morning. And 5 is too late to take your pill. Yeah, of course I will. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, I mean, all I did was stab this guy last time. From behind. Why? Why didn't you stab him again? This is the same problem that- Oh my gosh! This is the exact same thing that happened last time. Wow. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, so apparently you can't move. Hugo. Hugo's bad at his job.
Don't listen to the game. Kill it. Game is trying to trick you. Good. Game is not your friend. Just isn't. Okay, that guy's gonna be there for a little while. Oh, come on! He died after one turn? Oh, that guy's a weakling. Gonna throw a pebble at him. Can I hit him again? Can throw throwing knives at him. That's not gonna help. Okay, you. We could try throwing us a whistle. No, a whistle's not going to do anything. So it deals more damage than or less damage. So you got a shrieker there. Shrieker's going to see us and call more monsters. This is going to be over. This is not going to be a game that I can play, but it's just a showcase. So if you guys want to check this game out, go for it. I don't know. I mean, uh, personally, I like XCOM better. That's, that's just me. My other guy's like, I don't care about these fools, I'm leaving. Hunting net. Okay. There we go, we put a net over him. Yeah, turn's done. Turn is still done. Crud! He was supposed to be in the net! Are you kidding me? <laughs> My gosh! Just kill it. <laughs> He's just gonna get up and kill you next turn anyway. Yeah, you're dead. He's just gonna turn around and kill you. It's over. Dead.
Oh, wow. That was actually pretty easy, so I brought him back. Okay. Um, anybody want to throw a pebble at this? You can't throw a pebble at him if he's alerted, so you're just going to have to kill him. Well done! I don't see how that was well done, but okay. Really? Sure. Whatever. Let's go with that. I don't see how that was successful at all, but okay. Oh my gosh. Hey Rob, how's it going? I live stream in the evenings, normally. Your hunting party may achieve items, weapons, and I don't care. They're dead. Somebody died. Yeah, Hugo. It was all Hugo's fault. Hugo's dead. Hugo's gone. Hopefully we got somebody else in our little uh, party there. Finally. Ooh, a rifle. Thank you. My lady. Hello, Ruth. Yes. A friend for many wounds. Huh. Many moons. Hmm. Okay, old friends. Ruth has entrusted you a double barrel shotgun. Unfortunately, it's damaged. Ha! You could use this opportunity to visit the crafting wagon and repair it. Also, the rest of your party got dysentery. Okay, back to the wagon. Thank you. Hello. Ruth is a nasty woman. Okay. Hmm. That wasn't even Act One yet. My gosh. Chief. Oh, hello, Duke. You doing better? They should have had a, this voice acted, but oh well. So much text. Hmm? I mean, this game, it has XCOM elements to it, but it feels very Bloodborne. That is like, true. even the tutorial will kick your butt. I mean, technically I won, but I still lost somebody. Hmm. I don't even know how that's going to affect the rest of the game. Does it just replace the person in my convoy, or do I only have two people to use now? Would I have four people? I don't know. Chief. So, no way of really knowing. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Congratulations, Rob. Chief. Okay, can we get back to the actual gameplay now? Cause... Chief. Yes, thank you. What's the purpose of this game? Uh, it's XCOM and Bloodborne. Okay, I'm guessing... I mean, they told us to go to the caravan before. So let's go camp.
That guy only has 10% health left. I don't understand why he's so tired, but okay. Um, hunter's party. Manage your hunters. You should find yourself in need of fresh-faced reinforcements. This panel will assist you. Okay. You can dispatch hunters. It's a crown. I don't want to dispatch anybody. I just... What is this? Manage the hunters in your camp. Let's do this one. Why is he almost dead? Traveling to base? No, that's a bad idea. That's a horrible idea. Just want to heal the people I have. Wait a day, hunter's party. Camping tasks. No. No, 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 I don't want him to guard. I need him to rest. Oh my gosh, people are frustrating. Fine. Operating the crafting weapon to forge new items and charms to craft anything hunters need their resources. Certain resources totals... Uh, need blueprints. Okay. So I probably can't even use this yet. Remember the job board panel? You can assign- No, I don't remember the- How do I get to the job board? Remember the job board panel? You can assign the crafting task there. I don't remember how to do the job board. That's camping task. Assign chores. I can't do anything. Sacrifice a hunter? My gosh! The game is dark. Yes, I want to assass... Ah, I need to change. I need to put this dude... Thank you! This dude needs to be carting. This guy needs to be resting. Or he's gonna die. You also need to rest. You guard. And then... Maybe you craft. Ugh. Wait a day. Okay, so... Wow, they hardly get any health back. Look at that. It's pretty weak. Okay, assign some tasks. You are somewhat feeling better, so you're gonna... Craft. You stay guarding. You need to rest. Because you're not doing well. Ambush chance. Zero percent. Okay, well, let's wait another day. Did, did nobody... Did it not heal anybody? It hardly healed anyone. Crafting. Okay. Harpoon launcher. Hunter's pistol. Double barrel shotgun. Okay. So did it make it? Hunter's pistol. Harpoon launcher. Can't make that one. Can make this, though. So it has to have the crafting thing next to it. Or it can't make it. Alright, so everybody's going back to resting now. Okay, one more day. 
you go back to guard duty, because that was your job. And you are going to be scavenging. And you are going to be crafting. Okay. Wait a day. Found some food. Item crafted. Double barrel shotgun. Sweet. But that thing's going to be so loud, though. Wait, why did he drop in health? That's weird. You're going to rest, and you're going to go scavenge. Found some food. Okay. Alright, well, I guess gang's all here. No, I... How do I leave now? Manage... Enter shop. Equipment. Embark. Camp. The inn. That's where I am. Travel. You want to travel? It will take four days. We'll consume 36 things of food? Sure. How would it take that long to eat the f Man, these people eat a lot of food. Alright, let's... Fine, we're gonna have to stock up on food. How much food do we have? Not that much. Apparently. Camping tasks. Guarding. Gathering. Crafting. You're gonna go gather food, too. You don't get to rest. None of you get to rest! You get to rest when you're dead. Thirteen things of food was brought back. Camping. You know, something bad is gonna happen, I could just tell. Crafting weapons. Hunter pistol. Harpoon. Okay. our mission. See, he is dead! There's nobody here! I knew it! I knew it! I told you! What'd I say? I said that something was gonna happen. So because I lost somebody on the tutorial, now I have to bring... Even though he's in the stupid camp... Whatever. There we go. Okay. No, the other guy died. The other dude is dead. This is somebody else. Huh? Wow. That's funny. How long have I been playing what? This just kind of started. Oh boy. Blocked path. Ok. 
great. Nope. Okay, so we know for a fact we got two monsters there. Whoops. It's a much larger map. And it Try to hide in the bushes, I guess. You saw nothing. Wait, because I didn't knock the thing over, it's alerted or what? Oh, great! Really see how that works, but okay. Oh, grand. We're dead. I'm horrible at this game. Yeah, no. That was just awesome. Yeah, that went over well. Throwing knives. Still alive. Great. Can I can I bring that fool back to life? Nobody can move. Awesome. Player's turn. All right, go. Somebody. Save this fool! You can't save this fool because he's... Oh my gosh. No, don't reload. What did I tell you to reload? Ugh. Okay, can, can we save him, please? He's gonna die. Where's my revive ability? Uh, he's dead. Wait, he survived? Oh, all right! Sweet! So you want me to go what direction now? Use that blasted hunter sense. All right, so there's a monster over there. Everybody should be fine just moving up a little bit. Okay, good. You come this way, stupid. 
You guys are horrible at your jobs, by the way. Very, very bad at your jobs. What in the world? It's a tree? We have to wait until the tree goes to sleep. That makes sense. Watchers will make loud sounds when they see a hunter alarming other monsters. They're invulnerable to attacks, so it's better to avoid their vision. Watchers will go to sleep after a turn, but look out as they will wake up after some time. Wow. Okay. And what direction are the watchers looking in? That direction? Okay. That's interesting, I suppose. He can't move anywhere. How can you tell if the tree's asleep? I don't see like any Z's on it. What? No! Dang it! There's juice around somewhere. I don't know where your Tylenol is. Oh great, it found my scent. Really? <sighs> I don't care. Wait, so the tree's awake now, or is it sleeping? I mean, would it, would it be too much to ask for the tree to have, like... Oh, I don't know, some, like, sleepy things over it? So that means it's asleep. Oh gosh, there's more than one of those freaky trees.
Now the tree's awake. Now the tree's asleep. I don't really understand what all that stuff means, but okay. Are you for reals? It sneaked up behind the fool. Blast it all. Kill it. Ugh. ARE YOU SERIOUS?! I was in the bushes! Great! We're dead. Super tree saw me, even though. Okay, go back here in the bushes. You can't, you can't move that far because you're stupid. And this guy is just dead weight to everyone right now, because he's tired. Does that make sense? This guy's also dead weight. Ugh. I don't care about your life story. Go there. Throw a pebble where? Oh, gosh. Yeah, this game is incredibly stressful. Okay, so that's a beast facing that way, and then you got a monster over there. And just stay put, stupid. Okay. Okay, I don't know how he didn't see you, but whatever. That can't be a good thing. He can't move. He already is looking away with a pebble. Throw a pebble at him anyway. I can't throw a pebble at him. Oh, fine. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Reload what? Oh, your gun?
No one lives forever. Just go, go kill this fool. Hope for the best, I guess. He's bleeding, but he ain't dead. This is bad. He's going to turn around and start whacking people. Tree's asleep. Okay, sweet. Um, it's still not dead yet. Awesome. And anybody want to kill this thing? It'd be great, by the way. Not dead. Finally. I don't care where you go, just stay there. Wait, if somebody makes it there, is it is it the end? That was a bad idea. Don't do that. Stupid trees. Stupid monster sense. And there's no way to heal. Move from one book to the next. You go there. Dang it, I said in the bushes, fool. What's the point of being there? I think you have to kill all the monsters. Ha! Ah! Oh gosh. Ow. Way to go, Sherlock. Smart guy. Yeah, that's just, that's awesome. Good, good, good for you. Body freaking da. There's nothing over here. What's the, oh, maybe everybody has to get in this circle. Find out on the next turn. Nope, you stay there. You go there. Okay. You also go there. Oh, there we go! There we go! Okay! Alright. Well, that's how that happened. Okay. 
Yeah, it would be better. That way you know if the trees are sleeping or not, but, ah, eh, whatever. It is what it is. I think it's best for you people to rest before, since there's no way for them to recover. Look at that. They're all, they're pretty much dead. Um, you rest. You rest. Wait a day. So how much healing do you actually get for waiting a day? Uh oh. Hunters are not humankind. Their bloodline rests on the divide. Balanced perfectly between features of light and darkness. Due to the dark power latent in their veins, hunters are more vulnerable to the effects of darkness. Awesome! The longer a journey lasts, the more corruption hunters integrate as they face the um, waxing horrors of the hunt. When a hunter's corruption reaches critical level, the character may snap. A snapped hunter will die and may harm other party members. <laughs> it's dysentery! <laughs> Hunters who sustain enough corruption will eventually gain negative traits um, that alter their s statistics and efficiency at camping tasks. So what am I supposed to do? How do I make them not corrupt? Do I sacrifice them? Uh, what the heck? How do I make them better? <laughs> I don't think I can. Recruit new hunters. I'm going to have to kill the other ones, aren't I? Oh my gosh, they're getting they're getting uh, pretty messed up. I don't even have enough money to recruit somebody. Uh, summon a new hunter. Sure. Did I do it? Oh. I can't. I don't have any money. What in the world? <laughs> Traveling to base. <sighs> what? Hunters know their time in the cradle is short and unforgiving. In order to preserve the knowledge and power of their great thinkers and warriors beyond each mortal shell, ancient hunters wove the threat of death into the rituals. When a hunter's body becomes too burdened by the weight of corruption, they wane and wither, transferring their life energy to bolster a new generation. What the heck? To commemorate this rite, choose a hunter to sacrifice and a hunter to bolster. But keep in mind, the hunter that is sacrificed must have more experience than the hunter that is bolstered. What? So there's no way to heal my hunter. I have to kill people anyway. Wow. Okay, well that's interesting. I guess... Well, let's rest today and see if I become a zombie. Alright, that's... Okay, well. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so weird. Chief. Sure. What? Game is dark. Okay, a lot of story. You guys can pause and read this if you want. I just want to do one more level and then. That's it. Sure.
chief. Yes. We'll see. And then bark. City outskirts? I guess I'm supposed to go there. The hunters are gonna become evil! They're gonna become zombies! Oh, starving! Oh my gosh! <laughs> They're all gonna die! Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> Oh my gosh, starvation mode. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, someone died. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, that's it game. That's that's it. Somebody died. Yep. They died starvated. They died. They're gone. You can't recruit anybody either. Wow. I just want to summon a new hunter, blast you. <laughs> There's no way. Oh my gosh. Alright. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All I did was I was just trying to go to the end, yo. Wow. That's something else. Okay, well. I'm spent. <laughs> okay, people, so that is going to do it for uh, a look at this XCOM monster game. I don't know what to tell you. It's interesting. Um, if you go where the game tells you, then your characters are going to die. There's no way to really heal your party because if they're at the campsite, then eventually they'll get corrupted from being hunters and either eat one another or get dysentery or something, and then that's the end of them. And in order to save their souls before they become corrupt and start destroying your own convoy, you need to sacrifice them so that the next generation can be... <laughs> it's just... Oh my gosh, I don't know. I mean, it, uh, if you like dark stuff like Bloodborne and you enjoy the gameplay of XCOM, I mean, as far as I know, this is the only XCOM-style game on the Nintendo Switch. It comes out on March 13th. <laughs> I don't know. I really, I'm spent. This is weird. This is really weird. Um, I mean, I, I don't remember... In XCOM, where my characters would turn into aliens for being just veteran soldiers. So, if your guy becomes a veteran and he does good at his job, then he's going to turn evil. You have to kill him, and then you have to bring in a rookie who doesn't know how to do anything. And then you get to use that rookie for a little bit, and then they get corrupt, and you have to sacrifice them. I mean, uh, this, this game is not my cup of tea. I appreciate the developer reaching out and stuff like that, but yeah, no, I, I don't know. I mean, gameplay's solid, I guess, but I don't like the mechanics, and I don't like the idea of having to kill my people, and I didn't even have enough points to bring people in to replace the people that starved to death. Oh yeah, they can starve to death. So, I mean, the only thing missing was the person getting dysentery, somebody being eaten by wolves, attacked by Native Americans, and maybe eating one another. I mean, that's <laughs> that's the only other thing I can think of. It's like Oregon Trail with zombies. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, guys. You have a great night. That's the end of the stream. Check out uh, Adler's um, Blood. Um... Think of it as Oregon Trail meets, like, the end of the world. I don't know. Okay, have a great night. Thanks so much for watching. Check out the game on uh, March 13th if you want to on the Nintendo Switch. Bye!